Hey folks, welcome back to Luigi's Hidden Mansion. Hello. There you are. Aha! Now this is a poison mushroom. They are not good things, you don't want them. Uh, they will shrink you and make you unable to use your poltergeist. And they'll often pop out during boss fights. Now in Hidden Mansion, I believe, uh, ghosts remain stunned for less time, so you gotta be, like, quicker and closer in order to deal with them. And they also do more damage, as, as you might expect. And some of the ghosts are already pretty quick to react, uh, as is, so... Do them quickly. I don't know, this'll be a, something of a challenge run. Hopefully it won't be too challenging. And or let's just do that manually. Aha! A gold bar! Gold bars are naturally worth more than coins and more than bills. You can hear a ghost from there. Hello! You know, you'd think you'd uh, get kind of... If you're a really jumpy person, maybe this would be a scary game for you, but it's all jump scares, basically. Oh, hello. Now that green ghost you see, he's a garbage ghost. It's a lot of health, throws bananas around. Overall, they can be a pain, but they're not too tough. Especially since they're uh, stationary rather than moving. And, yep, slipping on a banana hurts just as much as getting hurt by a ghost. And sometimes you'll have to walk around, get a ghost to spawn. Where is it? Here we go. It's probably hidden in one of these. Like that. Yeah, ghosts will often hide in things. Uh, and often I'll forget that they hide in things and I'll be confused like I was there. And they get stuck in the key. I can open these guys up, hopefully for profit. Heart. Health is actually pretty useful, especially in the Hidden Mansion, because, I don't know, it drops a lot less frequently than you might expect. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of lighting this place up is, but whatevs. And now we can head back over to the room we now have the key to our. There's a sort of decent amount of backtracking here, but it's nowhere near as bad as Metroid games, for instance. That's not to say Metroid games are bad. Yeah, Gad there is telling us about gallery ghosts, which are strong ghosts and kind of the boss fights. Mini bosses, really, because they're more important fights that are can be considered boss fights. A trail of money. Not suspicious in the slightest. Those. Okay. Here's something you should know. There are fake doors. Now, one way to check is, is there a door on your map? No, there isn't. Probably fake. Secondly, you can suck it with the vacuum. If it doesn't shake, it's fake. 
So I don't really want to get hurt by that, so let's head on here for our first gallery ghost. Now I remember, hello, there you are. Remember Egad said, use the Game Boy Horror to inspect their hearts for clues. This guy. Basically, yeah, you're, you can't look at him. But uh, he'll only be susceptible at certain times. And this guy is susceptible when he yawns. So when he yawns, you turn around, flash him the light, stun him, suck him in, and gotcha. Again, if you're in the normal mansion, that takes a little while longer. Got the key. That opens up that room. And it's currently the only other room we can go to, so we may as well go to it once we've looted this area for lots and lots of money. I don't know why it's in his private study, but I will roll with it. Is there something in the chandelier, maybe? Heart. That I will dig. I, I dig that. You may have noticed an abundance of top hats in this in this area. That that is not coincidental. This is a very dapper family. Head on here. And we have our second gallery ghost already. They're usually not as quick to come as this one. Like, they're, they're further spaced apart. Now, uh, what's your hint? Oh, whoops. I accidentally unleashed another secret. When you use the Game Boy Horror inspection feature on a mirror, it'll teleport you back to the foyer. Which is very useful in certain situations, but I did that completely by accident, and I'm lucky that I wasn't further away. All right, let's try this again. Your hint? Not actually very helpful, to be honest. A lot of the hints are not helpful. What you gotta do here is suck away that and bring in a breeze. Hello, Toad, I see you there. And when she's done there, suck her in. Gotcha. As you can see, portrait ghosts uh, drop pearls. The longer you have them sucked in in like one chain thingy dube, uh, the bigger the pearls will be and more profit you get. And there's another benefit to doing it in one little suck, or one big suck rather, uh, and that will be explained in due time probably in the next episode. I wonder who broke that window. And that is the key, actually, to the first major boss fight. And I want to save before it. Because, good lord, baby problems. So, I'm going to head back to the foyer, talk to that toad, and get ready for the first major boss fight. And also, I might like it if one of these guys dropped a heart. Whatever, I'll do that off screen. Head on down, talk to the toad, and save. I will see you guys next time.